Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave Hibbergo Gamer. Today, we got this Xbox Series S game console that is having overheating issues. So let's take it over to the repair bench and let's see exactly what's going on. All right, as you guys can see, we have a Xbox Series S game console and it stays on for about five minutes before it just cuts off. So what I'm going to first off do is I'm just going to clean the case and we're going to actually take this apart because we're, we got to first off figure out what's going on. A lot of times I see what's going on with these Xbox Series S model game consoles is the fan inside of it actually goes out. It's really common with these. Um, sometimes I'll see it be just a thermal compound issue. Um, where the thermal compound is what keeps help keeps your APU cool on the motherboard. But nine times out of ten, it's always just been a fan issue. So let's um, clean this up. Let's get this down to at least let's at least get it down to the chassis and see exactly what's going on with this one. All right, guys. So we have the console down to just the chassis as you can see we have our fan right here i did take out the psu which is your power supply unit um, that sits right here that simply just lifts off um, and i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to test to see if a fan works now what i want you guys to see and i don't know why i was getting ready to plug that in but not um, when you spin this this is the finger spin test this is supposed to spin freely. It's supposed to keep spinning. You see how it does like one or two quick spins and then that's about it. But it doesn't keep continuing to spin. That lets me know that the motor in this fin is going out. And how we could also test it is, let me put the PSU back in here. You can plug this in. We'll press the power button that sits right here. Console is powered on. And you can see how the fan is reacting. Wow. And you can see the light in my hand so you can know the console is powered on. You can see how the fan is reacting to it being on. <laughs> it's not reacting at all. Um, and now it's turning because I kept on spinning it. And that is really the only way to really get it to work is if you keep spinning it but let me turn it back off and you see when i turn it off how quickly it stopped it's supposed to keep it's supposed to keep spinning so i mean there is an alternative to it if you want to keep this game console open you technically sp speaking can give it that kick start to allow it to start spinning but as you saw when I first turned it on, it was struggling to try to get it spinning because the motor is so tight. Um, probably a whole bunch of gunk and whatnot inside these motors and these fans. And it gets so tight, it's not able to turn. But once you give it at least a head start, give it a kick, then it'll start to spin until you turn it off. So that's typically how these work. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace this fan. Um, I don't spend time wasting trying to actually get inside of it, try to grease the motor and all that extra stuff. By the time you do all that, you might as well just put a brand new fan in it that you know everything is going to work perfect. So um, let me disconnect this fan first off. Fan is disconnected. And it just lifts straight out just like that. That's simple. Here is our sink heat sink that covers our APU. And now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go grab another fan. All right, guys. So here is another fan. Now, this is a fan from a Xbox One S. Crazy enough, um, you can use fans from Xbox Ones inside of Xbox Series. There is a little bit of modifications that you have to do to get it to work and fit, but it will work. Now, watch when I do the spin test here. You see that? You see how freely that spins? I'm barely putting any pressure on it. And this thing, that is how it's supposed to spin. Now, let's compare it to this one. That fin is done. And back to this one. 
That is how a fan is supposed to spin. Now, you might be wondering, how do we get this to fit? There's a couple modifications that I do. Um, I take off the four clips that sit on here because all it needs to do is the fan just needs to lay on top. And I take this side piece off right here and I take this side piece off right here with these. So I use my tweezers. I'm going to go in, just pull them off. And yeah, you could go out and you could obviously just buy an Xbox Series fan. But the reason why I don't is because I have a ton of Xbox One S fans. And it just makes no sense to me when I could put a really, really good Xbox One fan inside of these things and it'll work just fine. And now that's good. You always want to make sure when you put these things in, make sure it can still spin because when you're breaking off these edges, you don't, if something small is some small debris or anything in here, it won't work. So, yeah. Um, now let's go on ahead and plug it in and we're going to test it out. So we're going to plug that in, put the PSU back in, plug it in to the power outlet. You can see this fan spins as soon as I start it up. This is how it's supposed to be doing and obviously it's doing this boot sequence. So it spins, stops, starts spinning again. This is exactly how the fan should be moving. So this is now a repair game console. Now we have a fully working and operational Xbox Series S with a Xbox One S fan. So that is it. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm just going to leave it off right there because everything is working fine. Also, like I said earlier, if you're not comfortable or if you just don't have any Xbox One S fans in at all, I would not recommend going out, buying an Xbox One S fan and putting it in here when you could just spend about the same amount of money, grab an Xbox Series S fan and just put it inside of an Xbox Series S. Um, the reason, as stated earlier before, the reason why I personally do it is because I've been, I've repaired tens of thousands of Xbox One S's and I have a ton of donor fans. At, at least, no lie, at least about, probably about a couple hundred. So, I don't repair Xbox One S's as often now because we got the Xbox Series S's. So I have a whole bunch of fans that are in perfect working order that I put inside of the Xbox Series. I've never had an issue, never had a return, never had a customer come back and complain. It sits in here perfectly, doesn't rattle, no issues. If I ever did have an issue, then obviously I would not be putting an Xbox One S fan inside of these game consoles at all because I don't want to return and I don't want any negative reviews for my business. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. But besides that, I hope to see you guys on the flip side. I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.